Um, I've done an interesting career path, I think. Um, the way, when I finished uh, college and university, I kind of then um, went into teaching. So I started in school and I kind of didn't really enjoy secondary school. Um, I think it was okay, but I was more sporty and more interested in kind of other things and things to do with my hands and, and making things. So technology, more of a kind of physical kind of uh, environment captured me. So in school, I kind of went, went into university and then decided to do programming, um, uh, which I loved. But again, I didn't think it was a career choice for me. So then I thought, well, what else can I do? So I went and did teaching mathematics and computer science. Um, uh, so a course to do that in a university, to extend my university time a little bit longer as well, because I was really enjoying the kind of social aspects of university. And then from there, I went on to um, actually have a job as teacher of mathematics and computer science in school. Um, but after doing that for about five or six years, I then went into consultancy and then with the skills I'd learned all the way along, um, you know, whether collaboration, team building, working with other people, um, I then actually decided to jump into industry and come work for Microsoft to share the expertise of the customer, I suppose, of the of the people of the future, the students of the future, to kind of bring that lens in a commercial context. So it's kind of been a bit of a roller coaster of a career. It's ni nicely all gone upwards, but um, utilizing different skill sets of different um, uh, jobs and, and kind of um, industries to kind of get where I am now. And again, I, the path's uncertain for me for the future. You know, where do you end up, you know? And I'll utilize the skills I've got now for my next level of my career. So somebody entering IT, I'd be really focusing on the kind of soft skills. So make sure that all the technical skills, you've kind of ticked those boxes and you've had a go. Some of the newer things that are out there, so you can have a conversation around the latest technologies from Microsoft or Adobe, for example, or whoever it may be. So you can talk about the cloud and you can talk about the current trends. And you've actually tried to use and experiment with some of those tools. And that's, so that's a big tick, but also think about the softer skills and what you'd bring to the team and what will differentiate you from the others. So. Uh, things like blogging about the stuff you've done, um, documenting it, uh, videoing it, doing snippets and, and actually thinking about the way you present your CV and present yourself to an employer to differentiate above the rest. So I think that's the important thing.